So the world has just discovered that the nation of Japan is more west, more north, more south, and even more east than the entire Korean peninsula. That is both south and best Korea. Imagine getting geographically dominated like this. Like man, that's that's pretty embarrassing. I always forget about all these islands that Japan controls. That really saves them here. That makes the whole story. Don't upset them again, Korea. Japan might just try to invade you for like the third or fourth, I don't even know how many times it's been. Do you pronounce the R in arm? A question posed to all people from England. 1952, 2016? Now wait a second. How is the R disappearing before our very eyes? It's only been like 60, 70 years. I, I didn't think this drastic of a language change could happen. So back in the day, all of this part of the country used to say arm. And this part of the country wouldn't. But as time has gone on, it's now just um. Me mom took a look at my um. That's Bubba. terrible. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> me mom needs to look at my- I can't do it. Okay, I just can't do it. So what has happened exactly? Like, did all the arm pronouncers get oofed by the ones that didn't pronounce it? That's the only thing. Got put in camps or something, I don't know. The theory is things like television, radio, the internet, just media in general has helped uh, homogenize the language. Did I say that word right? I think I did. The population of Las Vegas, 1984 versus 2021. It looks like the city has tripled, maybe quadrupled in size over the last like 30 years. Also, small detail, I don't think we're supposed to be paying attention to this, but the water Water looks a lot less filled over here. That could be bad, I think. This is all the Californians escaping, man. I'm thinking of doing the same thing. What's even crazier is like literally no one probably lived in this location like maybe a hundred years before this. Each letter of the alphabet and what corresponding note in musical terms it goes under in the alphabet song, you know, A, A, B, C, D. So the first notes of the song A and B are actually in the key of C. It's like they designed it like that. But C is in the key of G. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny to me. And so is D, and then E, F. Man, it's a basic ass song now that I think about it. Average number of languages spoken by the EU population. I've always wanted to know this. I don't know why it's taken me so long to figure it out. So in terms of Western Europe, it really looks like the lowland countries are killing it. And that's probably because they're squeezed in the middle between some major nations. The Dutch are speaking 3.2, so I'm assuming that's gotta be like German, French, English, and then who knows, maybe even some Nordic. It's too bad that the Swiss aren't included in this because they speak like three different languages isn't there three different official languages here? And I think it's little old Luxembourg that actually has the most with 3.6 languages. What could the fourth be, honestly? I mean, I know they have a lot of rich people there, so maybe it's like people from outside of Europe even. I don't know. It doesn't really surprise me that these islands that only speak English have like very low numbers here. Like, obviously, they, they probably just speak English. I don't even know what the point six could be. Maybe a little bit of French or German. Weird to see Portugal right next to Spain, but they're also on the same level of England. Like, they really don't like Spanish, I guess. It is only speaking Portuguese. Portuguese. If not, you're getting sent to Brazil. I would assume Slovenia speaks a lot because there's a whole lot of different languages down here. And Northern Europe is pretty high in general as well because there's all sorts of different things this way. This is cool. I'd like to see like an even bigger like world map of this. Oh, I forgot about Cyprus. They're doing all right down here too. Assuming most of this is like their native language and then English. Uh, that's what I'd guess, but not always. String map of the world. And it is even better than I thought it was going to be because they actually like showed the the borders? I mean, th that is not easy. This is actually the best string map I've seen, which is weird. I've seen a lot of string maps. That's the next level, is to put all the flags in there. I see Ukraine was done well. Where would one even begin? Like, how do you even start this process? Of course, the only place that could show up Las Vegas is Shanghai, China. This is 1984 compared to 2020. Population used to be 6.8 million, now it is 27 million. I mean, they do have the nice advantage of not being in the middle of a blah, 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 desert. Why was Shanghai specifically just like, hey, we're gonna put everyone and their mama right here. I can't tell if it's just like the satellite image or has has the pollution gotten worse too? It's kind of rough. It's it's faded. I would assume so. But can you see it within this image? I don't know. Portion of each state that is federal land. They started with New England over here and they slowly started to expand and then the federal government was like, hey, we need to probably get our own land and uh, damn, Nevada is 85% federal land. No wonder we slapped Area 51 there. Those aliens aren't gonna be able to escape to anywhere without encountering the feds. Not even Alaska has 69%. Why? What are they doing in that desert? That's what I wanna know. Crazy how many 
these states only are 1% federal land or even less than that. Well, Rhode Island's pretty small. What are they going to do? Texas is pretty ginormous and they only have 2%, but that's probably like Texas's history. Something has to do with that historically. Oh my God, this one is going to hurt to read. I hate looking at this. If you had bought $100 worth of X a year ago, you'd have blank now. So if you bought $100 of Apple in April 2020, you have 159 bucks. Not too much, but a pretty okay return. Tesla 395, Bitcoin 600, Ethereum, dang. Of course, GameStop, which is still up there, but this is the big one. You'd have 20,000 if you put 100 bucks into Dogecoin. I didn't have 100 bucks, but I did have 40. And then I upped it to 80, and then I was like, this is stupid, what am I doing? That wasn't a year ago though. I wouldn't have 20,000, but I I probably, maybe a couple thousand. I don't like stocks, man, Bob stocks. All right, I just had to redo this because um, I had no idea that Culver is, uh, I don't know, it's like a store or a chain or something like that. I thought this was just showing like the counties with a city named Culver. I'm like, well, those are Culver City in LA. Uh, I guess this explains a lot. We don't have whatever Culver is in the West, the entire West. So that's why I have no idea what the hell this is talking about. These people love Culver's though. I mean, that is a Northern state thing, I guess. What is Culver's now? It's just a burger joint. It's a burger joint. It's like popping off, I guess. I mean, dang, it's expanding everywhere. It looks a little familiar. I'd be down to try that, I guess. Ugh, glass of milk with your, what the, f what is this place? AirPods revenue versus top tech companies. Basically, this is showing tech companies versus just the Apple product of AirPods. They are third in this list, making 23 billion. I do not have AirPods. I'm afraid to get them. I don't want to look even douchier than I am now. Netflix is just barely ahead of this tsunami that's coming, but who knows if that's going to last. Netflix is, I thought, going down in value, so they might actually get passed up. Adobe's making that much money, man. Adobe. Bubba. Thank you, Adobe. I'm actually more surprised at this chart seeing some of these companies make as much as they do. Like, how's Snapchat making that much money? I wanted to do this on video, but I'm, like, not nearly as talented. Like, this is a gingerbread world map, at least of the Eastern Hemisphere. I want to do the full like cook i want to do like a full world map cookie cookie version but that did not turn out good this is actually pretty amazing although it looks like europe is a little bit larger than you know it's fine i bet you this person's from europe that's probably why so that's a thick africa damn and a big old madagascar this is a really difficult like how do you put it in the oven and then like make sure that it doesn't get too big like how does the shape stay like d doesn't it expand a bit? i don't know i'm not gordon ramsay's i gotta ask gordon ramsay's how am i just now hearing about this seven thousand years ago the baltic sea looked something like this and it was actually a lake i'm assuming it looks like this because a lot of things were frozen there was a lot of frozen land back in the day this was like during one of the ice ages now i'm imagining that little squirrel probably was the one to bust open the lake and introduce to the atlantic ocean did he like try to get his nut and then it like opened up the floodgates there was actually a little bit leaking over and it was through sweden oh so there was kind of a strait or something like that this is kind of amazing to me to see this drastic of a geographical formation happened only a couple thousand years ago. Like, doesn't this stuff usually take thousands of years? I guess Ice Age just changes everything. Finland lost, like, at least 50% of their land, it looks like. It explains why Finland is kind of just made up of a bunch of islands. So is Sweden a little bit. Norway got those big old mountains, so that's why they were saved. They weren't going underwater. There wasn't even close to being, like, a Denmark. Denmark is just... Germany. I'm just so surprised. I did not know any of this. Top 10 busiest flights in Europe. I wish it was organized. Like which one is one through 10. I'd imagine London and Dublin. That's gotta be kind of high. Then London to Amsterdam. They're not going to Paris. France is just staying inside of France. A lot of people just like to fly in France. I guess it's happening in all the inner countries. Spain, Italy, Germany. It's not a whole lot of international stuff going on here, surprisingly, but you would think that some of the most popular flights would actually be like further away. Like you could drive to these places, but maybe they just don't like to drive. I don't like to drive. What am I talking about? Knowledge of French in Canada. Unsurprisingly, it's all in Quebec, but that that's, we, we know that. And obviously everything kind of west out this way doesn't know a lick of French. It's all like zero to 9%. I bet you it's all like one to twos out here. Weird to see this small part kind of have a bit more French knowledge. I don't know why that is. Interesting though to see that some neighboring counties know a little bit of French and then others don't know any. Like how can you be here and not know any French? I bet you like a majority of the people that live here are like in a dot right here and then these people are in like a dot right here. So they're not even close. I mean they barely can consider themselves neighbors. There's only one place out of Quebec that speaks uh, at least over 50% 
French, and that is here, is like a bunch of Quebec population like moving here or something. I'm like trying to think like, have I ever come across somebody in real life that spoke fluent French? I mean, maybe once or twice ever. I don't even, I can't even think of a time. If you flew in a straight line from McAllen to Bangkok, you would only go over a little bit of land. Like, I don't even know how much that is. Maybe a couple miles, but this would require you to fly in a straight line. This might be not the optimal flight route, or maybe they can't even do it. I don't know. Is there a lot of people flying from Texas to Thailand though? I would be a little surprised, but not that surprised. So this was just a thing. Like we had so much more land back then. 10,000 years ago, this is Doggerland. I thought like that was like a British joke that people were playing on everyone. Like Doggerland, there's no way there's a place called Doggerland. Like it sounds like some mythical fantasy. I don't know, British humor. I thought it was going over my head. Don't show this to the Dutch. Like people from the Netherlands are just salivating right now. This is their goal actually, probably to bring back Doggerland. Again, it's just surprising. This was only 10,000 years ago. Like this is what things would have looked like. I mean, it had been icy and frozen and probably not fun to live in. But still, you can actually see Doggerland in the satellite photos, at least in like these relief maps like this. I'm just imagining this whole mythical land filled with doges. Is that normal? I love these videos so much. North and South America in the style of Agario. So it's the 1400s. We have Native American peoples versus the Aztecs. A little, little bit of infighting here and there. What's going to happen to the Mayans? The Mayans just going to vanish like out of nowhere or... Okay, so here comes Portugal. Hey, what's going on over here? And then here comes Spain. Hey! Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just take this from you. Boom, Aztecs gone. Boom, Mayans gone. New Spain is formed. Portugal has also got a little bit of uh, the Brazilian colony up. Neo-Incan state, Inca's gone. And slowly, Spain is gonna spread on the western side of South America as Brazil grows bigger and bigger, I'm assuming. Here come the French, 1580 something. So they're gonna make that little Quebec thing right there in New France. Everyone's joining the party now, man, all these balls. <laughs> New Netherlands, that they got a little, little territory in New York. They should let them keep that. Something tells me this ball is not gonna have a good time. They're gonna take a lot of L's. I forget a lot of the time how many Native American people still lived in South America at this point. Obviously in North America, but I don't know much about South American Native Americans. A little bit of infighting between France and America. British America. Boom. France has been kicked out. France is going to get angry and start cutting people's heads off. But wait a second. It's the U.S. And we're going to push the British up to the north. They can have syrup land. All right, South. It's getting crazy. I can't even keep up with all this. Oh, yeah. So everyone's getting their independence. Spain is going away. There's Grand Colombia, there's Peru, there's Chile. Spain isn't even in the south or the north anymore. We have a Central America. Oh, Mexico, that's right. This is actually really complicated because there's like so much going on on both sides. I can't watch it all. Oh, USA getting thick. Time to buy Mexican land. Oh, oh, it's a cameo from No No America. Forgot about that. Wait, what are the French doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. They wanted to fight Mexico and they kind of left. Now things are going to get nice and clean. You know what's funny? So they had like some crazy forces in the very beginning. But for the most part now, like 100 years until modern times, things just stay the same. I mean, a little, little bit of bumping here and there, but you know, it's a little bit of bumping never hurt anybody. Oh, well, there's that. I forgot, forgot about Japan, but you know. Hold on, waiting for the British to come attack. Art, there it is. Distribution of the surname Ryan in Ireland, 1901. I didn't even realize that that was an Irish name. It's all in the southern part of Ireland, too. So they weren't fans up here. What's famous here? McDonald's? Is this where they had all Max? Basically, if you come from this place, your name's Ryan. They probably just named each other Ryan 2, 3, 4. Oh yeah, go talk to Ryan 69. Now that was the best one. How many beers can you buy from an hour of work? So in California, you can buy 17. What? That's a lot. Whereas in other states like Wyoming, you can only buy five. This is based on wages of 2020 and they're using 24 packs here of these two. Okay. Yeah, basically don't move to Wyoming then. Is that the worst spot? Or just any of these single digit states, honestly, like it ain't even worth it. I say work for an hour and then come home. You don't need any other expenses in your life. We have the Human Development Index, Europe, and the countries that are higher than this HDI. Uh, basically, this is just a statistic that composites index of life expectancy, education, and per capita income. I'm just really surprised to see all the countries that are higher than the EU. I didn't think they're, they'd be beat out by so many places. UK, Switzerland, Norway, all right. North America, I get that. Oceania on the board a little bit. Higher HDIs here in New Zealand and Australia. Even Singapore, Taiwan. Kind of shocked. Japan, South Korea. This is weird to see. I didn't know that. Dog breeds and their genetic profile, which I guess dogs can be either wolf-like, herders, hunters, or mastiff-like, basically like German shepherd-looking dogs. Top on this list with the most wolf-like 
genetic profile is actually a Shiba Inu. Kind of funny, like Shibs are such memes, but damn, they're so just like angry sometimes, or just like, I don't know, little dicks sometimes. Obviously, most dogs were bred to be hunters, or at least a form of hunter. I mean, they weren't all like running out there. Some were just used for like their nose, the bass head hounds. And then we just got like the guard dogs, just like military dogs. And big thanks to the patrons of May. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. I'm about a nut. Luxembourg lover. Poppy Drew Woo. I love Drew to know. Aryan After Hours. Stormtrooper 501. Zephy. Patrick C. Manny Manny 74. Kaylee K. M203 Brush. Ian L. Fusion Anthony G. San Nick. Epi Nick. Elijah Senpai. Dalton D. Call of Tortoise. Aaron F. And Aaron F. 2.